to pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, today we begin our nine days of spiritual preparation for the coming installation of our new Archbishop here in Manila, His Eminence, Jose Cardinal Advincula. And as we prepare for his installation today, we offer our prayers for the church so that we could become a listening church, sharing with one another, forgiving one another. And so to prepare ourselves to celebrate these mysteries, let us first acknowledge our sins and humbly ask the Lord for His pardon and strength. Lord Jesus, You came to gather the nations into the peace of God's kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you come in word and sacrament to strengthen us in holiness. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you will come in glory with salvation for your people. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O 
Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that your Church may always remain that holy people formed as one by the unity of Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, which manifests to the world the sacrament of your holiness and unity and leads it to the perfection of your charity. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. We want you to know, brothers and sisters, of the grace of God that has been given to the churches of Macedonia. For in every severe test of affliction, the abundance of their joy and their profound poverty overflowed in a wealth of generosity on their part. For according to their means, I can testify, and beyond their means, spontaneously they begged us insistently for the favor of taking part in the service to the Holy Ones, and this not as we expected. But they gave themselves first to the Lord and to us through the will of God, so that we urge Titus that as he had already begun, he should also complete for you this gracious act also. Now, as you excel in every respect, in faith, discourse, knowledge, all earnestness, and in the love we have for you, may you excel in this gracious act also. I say this not by way of command, but to test the genuineness of your love by your concern for others. For you know the gracious act of our Lord Jesus Christ, and that for your sake he became poor, although he was rich, so that by his poverty you might become rich. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Praise the Lord, my soul. Praise the Lord, my soul. Praise the Lord, my soul. I will praise the Lord all my life. I will sing praise to my God while I live. Praise the Lord, my soul. Blessed he whose help is the God of Jacob whose hope is in the Lord, his God, who made heaven and earth, the seas and all that is in them. Praise the Lord, my soul. Who keeps faith forever, secures justice for the oppressed, gives food to the hungry, the Lord acts captives free. Praise the Lord, my soul. The Lord gives sight to the blind. The Lord raises up those who were bowed down that the Lord loves the just. The Lord protects strangers. Praise the Lord, my soul. Please all stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. 
glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, You have heard that it was said, You shall love your neighbor and hate your enemy. But I say to you, Love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you that you may be children of your heavenly Father. For he makes his sun rise on the bad and the good and causes rain to fall on the just and the unjust. For if you love those who love you, what recompense will you have? Do not the tax collectors do the same? And if you greet your brothers only, what is unusual about that? Do not the pagans do the same? So be perfect, just as your heavenly Father is perfect. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. We are nearing the installation of our new Archbishop, Cardinal Jose Advincula. And perhaps you have seen his face outside the Manila Cathedral. And we have already installed his uh, insignia, his coat of arms on the cathedra. That is his symbol, his insignia. It means we are awaiting his coming here to Manila and he will be installed on June 24 at 8.30 a.m. here in the cathedral. And it will be nine days from now. We will be having a novena, nine days of spiritual preparation before he is installed as our new shepherd. And today, my dear brothers and sisters, our administrator, Bishop Broderick Pabilio, asks us on day one, to pray for the church. And we can only pray for the church if we understand what is the church. Who is the church? My dear brothers and sisters, Pope Francis tells us this year that we need to transform our parishes transform our communities into not only simple parishes, but we need to transform our parishes into missionary communities. Parang sinasabi ni Papa Francisco sa atin, wag lang sana tayong manatili kung ano ang mayroon tayo ngayon, kundi Payabungin pa sana natin. Higitan pa natin kung ano ang mayroon tayo. The message of our readings today revealed to us this call of our Lord to exceed whatever we have and whatever our capacity is. In our gospel passage, Jesus reminds us that loving is not just about loving those who love you, but loving even those who are against you, who persecute you. That is the call of Jesus, to exceed our capacity to love. And in our first reading today, St. Paul reminds the church in Corinth in his letter to the Corinthians that the Christians in Macedonia as a good example for them 
is a community that does not only give according to their capacity, but they share even beyond their means. That is why even if the community in Macedonia is in profound poverty, they overflowed in the wealth of generosity. And so, my dear brothers and sisters, let us heed the call of Jesus echoed by Pope Francis. Let us transform our church not just to become a church of status quo, but a church that exceeds our own capacity so that we may overflow with generosity. Meron po tayong kasabihan sa Tagalog. Kapag halimbawa mayroon kang hiningi sa isang tao, ano yung minsan o madalas na sinasagot natin? Sinasabi natin, sa abot ng makakaya ko. Sa abot hanggang dun lang sa makakaya ko. Pero sana, yan ang sinasabi sa atin na itransform natin, baguhin natin. Sana ang sagot lang natin palagi, hindi yung kung hanggang saan lang ng makakaya ko, sa abot lang ng makakaya ko. Sana itransform natin at sabihin natin, higit pa sa makakaya ko. That is the mission given to the church. My dear brothers and sisters, as we prepare these nine days for the coming of Cardinal Advincula as our 33rd Archbishop here in Manila, let us become a listening church, a church that gives, a church that shares, a church that forgives one another. Let us transform our church and allow the love of God to teach us to exceed our own expectations by forgiving one another, by sharing with one another, by listening to one another. Amen. Please all stand. We now turn to God the Father for the help that we need to follow the example of Jesus who tells us that we are to love our enemies. For every petition, let us say, Father, gather us in your love. Father, gather us in your love. That the leaders of the church may give witness to the people in the ways of pardon, love, and forgiveness, so reflect God's holiness to the world. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, gather us in your love. That those who are angry and bitter with their neighbor may realize that giving in to feelings of resentment and hatred only separates them from God. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, gather us in your love. That families that are divided and turn apart because of indifference toward one another may discover their former closeness and warmth. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, gather us in your love. That the sick may attain the peace of mind which grows from appreciating their special role in joining Christ in his suffering. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, gather us in your love. That the dead may share in the peace and happiness of God's kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, gather us in your love. 
God our Father, you know what is good for us. Rid our hearts of all bitterness and bless our efforts to love all people. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Please all stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Celebrating the memorial of your Son's boundless love, we humbly beseech you, O Lord, that through the ministry of your church, the fruits of his saving work may advance the salvation of all the world. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For when your children were scattered afar by sin through the blood of your Son and the power of the Spirit, you gathered them again to yourself, that a people formed as one by the unity of the Trinity made the body of Christ and the temple of the Holy Spirit might to the praise of your manifold wisdom be manifest as the church. And so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you and with joy we proclaim, Holy, 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 Holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Broderick, our administrator, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold, 
the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Nourished by the sacrament of your Son, we implore you, Lord, to make fruitful the work of your Church, for by it you constantly reveal the fullness of the mystery of salvation to the poor, whom you have called to an honored place, in your eternal kingdom, through Christ our Lord. Amen. We shall now pray the prayer of gratitude for the gift of our new Archbishop. All together, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ, Christ, Good Shepherd and High Priest, we praise you and offer you our sincere gratitude for calling Cardinal Jose Advincula to serve as our Archbishop. May he lead us as a loving shepherd who cares for his flock and seeks out the lost sheep. May he be for us a gentle and listening father, a faithful teacher, and a steward of your sacred mysteries. Grant him health, strength, and wisdom Strengthen the bonds of unity among us, your priests and faithful in our archdiocese, so that we may serve you as one body. Purify us and sustain us in charity, for your love for us never fails. Grant that the faithful of our local church may boldly answer your call to mission. You who live and reign with the Father and the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Darasalin naman po natin ang ating pagnonobena sa Birhen ng Antipolo. Tayo pong lahat, mahal na ina at reyna ng mga mag-anak na Pilipino, ikaw na ina ng Diyos. Ipinagmamakaamo namin sa Diyos Nagawara ng pagpapala ang lahat ng mga tahanang nabuwag dahil sa tukso at pagwalang halaga sa sakramento ng matrimonyo. Nawa ang kanilang mga pagsubok ay maging daan upang sila'y mabigyan ng lakas upang gumawa para sa iyong kalwalhatian. Igawad mo sa amin ang lubos na pag-alinsunod sa kalooban ng Diyos Sampu ng hinihingi namin at ninanasa sa pagsasyam na ito, kung ito'y ukol sa kanyang kapurihan at kagalingan ng kaluluwa namin. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. We stand.
before the grand prize of five hundred years of faith, grateful today, prepared to give of nation, totally yours we give ourselves, faithfully yours until the end, to your nation, Lord, we give our hand.